Hello everyone, I welcome you to our course which is Arduino Bootcamp. This is the first video of our course. So without any delay, let's begin. So I welcome you to the exciting world of Arduino. In this course, I will take you on a journey through the fundamentals of microcontroller, especially focusing on Arduino. In this video, I will cover essential topics that will lay a solid foundation for your Arduino adventures. So let's begin with the basics. What exactly is a microcontroller? A microcontroller is a compact integrated circuit that combines a processor, memory, input output peripherals in it. It's the brain of a countless electronic devices from washing machine to robotics. It is designed to control specific tasks within the electronic system. So from this statement, we come to a conclusion that a microcontroller is a device which has everything on a single board like RAM, a ROM and input output peripherals. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between the microprocessor and a controller. While both are crucial component in the world of electronics, a microprocessor is designed for general purpose computing tasks like in computers. On the other hand, a microcontroller is tailored for specific applications often embedded with devices to control their function. So microprocessors are designed so that we can perform multiple tasks at the same time while my microcontrollers are used to do a specific time task at a specific time. So let's start with the Arduino, the star of a course. Arduino is an open source platform that simplifies microcontroller programming and electronics projects it empowers hobbyist, student, professional to bring their cre creativity ideas to life. So we use Arduino to control motors, turning on and off an LED or pushing something to online like sending data from a sensor to our servers. So where did the Arduino come from? Arduino has a brief history. But let's start where Arduino is born. Arduino was born in the early 2000s as a tool for designing students to create an interactive projects. Its user friendly nature made it sensation sparkling and global community of makers and innovators. Arduino was established by two persons in Iveira, Italy. So uh, what are the different types of Arduino? Arduino comes in a various flavor known as boards. These boards are often different features and capabilities catering to a wide range of projects from compact Arduino Nano to powerful Arduino Mega. They are boards of every kind. So in this picture you are clearly see there are total six boards present. Everyone has different function and comes in different sizes. For example, the smallest one which is which we used in smaller places are Arduino Mini, which have less pins in it and have less functionality. While the biggest board which present in Arduino lineup is Arduino Mega, which has much, much more pins than Arduino Mini. But for this course, we are generally using Arduino Uno, which can do everything. It was the fundamental board which we are going to do. So now let's start what our Arduino board look like and what it have in it, which we are going to learn. So from the basic thing, we see there is a USB plug. It is a USB type A plug, which is used to transfer data in the Arduino board as well as providing power. Okay. After that, there is an external power supply. Arduino work on DC power source which is ranges from 5 volt to 12 volt okay in the bottom you see uh, there are reset pins 3.3 volt pins 5 volt pins and ground pin and voltage in from there uh, it is mentioned that it is a voltage input means from that pin we can power our Arduino okay so Arduino provide two types of voltages first is 3.3 volt and another is 5 volt uh, Arduino have different different pins. Uh, 
one some of them are digital pins analog pins and pwm pins our arduino board contain the microcontroller which is at mega 328p so these are the basic thing which we are going to learn further in our course but for the initial you can see the board and understand what and how our arduino board look like so now going to the specification of arduino arduino uh, have microcontroller which is at mega 328p which is designed by a company known as atmel okay the operating voltage at which our arduino work is 5 volt but the input voltage which we provide is 7 to 12 volts okay and the maximum voltage it can bear i mean uh, it is the voltage at which our arduino uno can work uh, work o over this voltage our arduino get burned so that is that ranges from 6 to 20 volts there are total 14 digital input output pins and 6 analog pins so dc current which is 40 milliamps the main part uh, flash memory you can see uh, it is only 32 kilobytes out of which 0.5 kilobytes is used by the bootloader so the term bootloader here is it is a it is a memory or it is a software preloaded in the arduino so that uh, we can upload our code from our laptop to the arduino board so you might be wondering why 32 kb it is very less i mean in our modern world uh, we can see that our phone coming with uh, 128 gb 256 gb even 1 terabyte but, but in arduino we are just working on 32 kb but trust me this 32 kb is enough for an microcontroller um, you can write more than thousands of lines of code and still you can't be able to fill 50% of the board so 32 kb is enough for a microcontroller board because it has a rom inbuilt in it now moving towards the ram it has 2 kb of ram 2 kb just think your phone working on 2 kb uh, our current phone work on 8 gb 12 gb of ram but arduino just only required 2 kb of ram even while running you can't utilize more than 50% of the ram it has that much power clock speed it is the speed at which our arduino run thank you for joining us in the first video this course will lead you to new possibilities for the arduino you know, start learning start creating